Hey team, and welcome to the one where I talk about how to survive coding boot camp. All right guys, so you may have noticed by now, but I am recording this in public. I am on my way to work, and this video might be a little late because I'm gonna record it during the day, but we'll see what happens. Let's talk about code boot camp. So I just graduated in August, and surviving code school is half of the battle. That's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to give you my five top tips on overcoming the stress, the weight, the worry of Code Bootcamp. And it is possible. The class that I was in had a bunch of different kinds of people in it. And just because you don't have any experience doesn't mean you can't do it. Uh, everyone that I started with, except for one person, had never really coded before the bootcamp in their life. So you can do it too. All right, so I'm taking the elevator down from work and I didn't get to record nearly as much of this as I had originally planned. This was a really busy day. But let's hop right into my tips. I'm gonna give you five of them. So here we go. All right, so tip number one is pretty self-explanatory and it's something you should absolutely be doing. If your code school gives you pre-work, you should definitely get that done. Uh, even if it's kind of weird and awkward at first, if you don't know what you're doing, you've never coded before, it's definitely gonna set you off on the right foot and put you in a position to be successful, which is the best thing you can do before you get to code school is set yourself up for success. All right, so still walking back to my car from the office. My second tip for code school and surviving it is to ask questions. And no question is a stupid question. You're brand new to this, so you don't know what you're doing yet. So ask them. If you think of something, ask. Somebody else is probably thinking it. And it's a good way to get left behind if you don't ask questions when you have them. And the number one thing you don't wanna do in this like superly, super truncated program is get left behind because there's not a lot of time to catch up. So make sure you ask questions when you have them. Currently jaywalking in front of the courthouse. Probably not a good idea. The light just turned up fine. Um, so the third tip during code school to survive is to make sure you get sleep. It's a lot of work. I understand that, but sleep. All right, guys, so I'm sitting here in the parking lot of Walmart because I have to pick up some dinner or something to make for dinner tonight. And I hate Walmart, but it's the closest place to my apartment and it's rush hour, so I don't really feel like going anywhere else. But back to the list of tips, number three on my tip list for surviving code school is sleep. Sleep is super important, not just for you and your mental well-being. It's also super important for code school. You can get caught up in your projects and adjusting every little thing and making sure everything's right and you're never actually done with most of the work that you get, at least the one I went to, I never actually felt like I was done. But sometimes sleep is more important than that. Not only because it lets your brain recharge and it keeps you aware and better to learn the next day, but also some of my biggest breakthroughs have come when I wasn't thinking about code, whether that was me laying down to go to bed and I thought of something, go hack away for a couple of minutes and have it work, or just going to sleep, waking up the next morning and having an idea randomly just come to you because you let your brain refresh. It's not abnormal to dream about coding while you're in code school. Um, just take it for what it is and make sure you get your sleep because you need to get out of code school, not with just the knowledge of how to code, but also you need to get out of code school with your health and sleep is a big important part of that. Back at home and I survived the long lines at Walmart. I really hate that place. But we're back to share my last two or one or two. I gotta look at the videos and see how many tips I've given you guys. All right, the last two tips, that's where we are. So my second to last tip is to trust the process. And this was something that was really hard for me and linking my blog down um, below to kind of let you know what I mean by this. A lot of times during the boot camp, I would get frustrated with what I felt like was a lack of progress. And then two days later, things would just click. And you really have no idea why. It's something that not only I went through, but a lot of the people who were in my cohort went through as well. Learning to trust the process throughout this whole thing is a lot of the battle. Like it's really important to not get so frustrated that you just give up or that you just get stuck because they know what they're doing. They've produced coders who have gotten jobs, who have gotten good jobs, have gotten the jobs that are the reason why you're getting into this. So trust the process and trust that the instructors know what they're doing. And if you're really, really concerned that they don't or that you are just falling behind and you don't know, go back to my second tip, which is ask questions. Make sure you get in there and you ask questions because 
if you trust the process and you ask the right questions, you'll be fine. All right, the final tip for how to survive code school is going to be give it your all. It's all throughout the literature for the Iron Yard, and I'm sure it is in other code schools as well. It's a program that you get out what you put in, and there really isn't a better way to describe it. You have to put forth all of the effort you can. You're giving up 12 weeks of your life. You may be quitting a job or going on leave. You're putting up a lot of money for this, and there's no reason for you to sell yourself. Self. There's no reason for you to sell yourself. I can't say those words. There's no reason. Blah. There's no reason to sell yourself short on this experience by not giving it your all. Make sure that every line of code you write and every line that comes out of the instructor's mouth is something that you take in. And if you have to put in 10, 12 hour days to get it, then put in 10 to 12 hour days because you're paying a lot of money to learn this stuff. So you might as well learn it. If you wanna survive, put in the work, put in the time, put in the effort. You know that the next 12 or 18 or however long your boot camp is, weeks of your life are gonna be dedicated to code. So make sure you dedicate them. Uh, this includes maybe not planning anything for those 12 weeks, clearing out your calendar, being a little less social. It sucks in the moment, but it's going to be worth it in the end. So give it your all. That's the last tip. And with that, that wraps up this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you want to hit the subscribe button, that would be super awesome. Also, click that like button if you liked anything that I said today. And down in the comments below, if you've been through code school or if you're going through it right now, Throw out some more tips or ideas out there. And if you're thinking about going to code school and you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if you are worried about a particular part of a program, let me know. Even if it's not in front end, what I specialized in in my code school, I still have relationships with some of the people who are on the back end in the Ruby class. And I know someone who was in a Java class as well. And I can find answers for you guys if you want them. So just hit me up down there and I promise I'll get back to you. As always, if you wanted to share this video, that would be super awesome. I appreciate it every time any of you guys do that. It helps me out so much and I just enjoy seeing all of the new faces that have come to this channel since I started. By the way, big thank you. I'm over 100 views on a couple of videos. I'm over 500 views overall and a bunch of watch time. I appreciate it. Honestly, I thought I would throw these videos up on the internet and they would get lost and I'd get maybe 10 views. Um, so I appreciate it so much. Thank you. All right, guys. So until next Monday, I will see you later. All right, guys. So I'm on my way to work and it is entirely too early. I'm very lucky to have a job where it doesn't matter when I come in, except for every other Monday when we do sprint planning and we have to be here at like nine. I haven't had my coffee yet. This is just all bad. The fire alarm is going off at work. Oh no.